my background is, is technical. As I, um, sometimes my, my HR defines me, I'm, I'm a misplaced engineer. When I was first exposed to these, uh, say, power, rather first before energy arena, it uh, was interesting to see the level of customers that need power continuity. So that was fascinating. So um, having a, the possibility to meet know and needs of the, the, to know the needs of many sectors, uh, from um, air transportation, road transportation, from health healthcare also, banking, financial institutions, and then the explosion of the web service providers, the cloud providers, the data center. Uh, but what was fascinating for me was the uh, having um, the, the the responsibility to take care of the business continuity and of the safety of the mission critical application of customers. So really at the core of their business, at the core of their safety. Avertib is, is a company whose core business in the, is in the data center, in the critical, let's say, space of data centers. Uh, not only with some also commercial and industrial exposure in, in several sectors, but um, all the typical Vertiv customer is a, is a customer uh, with, a, with a critical need of business continuity. So he needs uh, technology, so reliable technology, uh, technologies, uh, uh, reliable solutions uh, with a good energy efficiency because in many cases one of the biggest operating expenses of our customers is energy mm -hmm. uh, for their processes. So they need also efficient uh, systems for us, but they, the, all these need to be wrapped in a in a very proactive service. So we are very um, honest with our customers, and we say yes, we provide you an excellent technology, a very reliable technology. But sooner or later, something will go wrong. So we will have to come and take care of you, take care of the system, and reset it to no, into normal operation as quickly as possible. This is probably one of our most important values, is the service level that we offer to our customers. And we do it with uh, monitoring software, remote monitoring software, remote diagnosis systems, but also with people feet on the street. So service people, we have a real service network, managed service network, which can intervene in a matter of few hours uh, in the major uh, urban areas uh, and to uh, understand what's going on, fix the problem and uh, restore completely the, the availability of the application for the users. Looking at our core customers, we realized that uh, their needs were, were, are also changing, so they certainly need efficient systems, but they are more in need of optimizing their energy cost. We realize that we have a lot of assets using energy and storing energy which are sitting there doing nothing for the 99.9% .9 of the time. So we started thinking, can we uh, enable, uh, can, can we use more, can we uh, trade those assets with ancillary services in order to unlock for our, for our customers either cost energy, a levelized cost of energy for example, or additional revenues coming from ancillary systems like uh, frequency regulation, like capacity market. So, um, Interestingly enough, the real um, uh, say game-changing uh, experience for us was the front of the meter experience, where a customer um, uh, called Noriker in the UK came to us and asked us if we could deliver to them a battery energy storage system for an in front of the meter FFR campus, 20 megawatt campus. And at that time, the reason was that they were attracted by our service capability. So being able to take care of the installation and make sure that everything was running smoothly always. And uh, interestingly, at that time, we did not have a product for them, but we developed quickly a product, taking the UPS technology, the interruptible power supply technology, transforming it into a simpler battery energy storage converter with a communication protocol, with a control system. And we deployed in time the system, uh, respecting the timeline of the projects. The system is up and running since one year. But with this experience, we learned uh, many things, how to use batteries as an energy storage, not only as a power backup source, how to interface our units with the external controllers in the energy space for the energy function, how to 
uh, modify the control system and how to use the same technology from our UPS to be used in, uh, in the, as, a, as an energy storage system. This is, for, for, for us, a new business stream. Okay, so we are new in this space. But then, uh, the, I mean, the positive um, impact on our core business was almost immediate because this same lessons learned, this, the same technology, same protocol, same control system, we are putting them back into our standard UPS. So this means that we can do two things. We can address our installed base of UPS users mm -hmm. to uh, unlock for them uh, the possibility of using a, their existing UPS and their existing batteries as a battery storage. Or we can, uh, let's say, we have a better case uh, to convince customers in the commercial and industrial space who haven't, haven't been using UPS for, mm -hmm. because they, they didn't have enough uh, big business case to invest in UPS. And today they have more revenues possible. So it is also reinforced in the case of having UPS. Uh, some users, um, uh, they, they told us that they would be interested in investing uh, uh, money in more battery storage, in more energy storage, uh, in order to achieve extra revenues. Um, actually, the trend in the previous few years of our core customers, data center customers, was to reduce the battery storage because they were just in need of a bridging, let's say, power backup uh, before the generator, the diesel generators kick in or other sources could uh, support the installation. Now, of course, they have to go probably the other way around. So invest more in batteries. We think that they might be interested in, in getting an external project financing resource, an external resource, so that they can develop this project, let's say, uh, co-located uh, with their installation, um, uh, let's say, um, having a, a payback for the investment in a few years, then continue to leverage the asset for many years. So for, for clearly, the, li the useful life of the battery storage which must be at least 10 years, it's extremely important in this case. So I think that project finances can play a role also for behind the meter customers in our space. There is not only the need of having one battery storage, but having the possibility to manage the various possible energy sources, choosing the one which is more reliable for the backup functions and selecting the cheapest one at a certain moment. So uh, this is the something that we are really willing to, to study and to develop with this type of customer. So the management aspects of the various energy sources and the battery storage.